Office Lens is an app from Microsoft. And this is a very brief introduction and guide to how it works and what it does. The application is available for Windows, of course, iOS and Android platforms. It makes use of your mobile device's camera and acts as a portable scanner. Incredibly useful. To get and install the application, simply download from the App Store for your platform, i.e. for Windows or Google for Android and the App Store for iOS. So what exactly does it do? Office Lens works through your device's camera. You take a photo of a document, a newspaper article, a menu, a whiteboard or a flip chart via the app and it will let you trim, enhance and make the pictures readable. You can use Office Lens to convert the images to PDF, Word, PowerPoint and then save to OneDrive or OneNote. It works like a scanner and will digitise notes from a whiteboard or blackboard for example. It will then clean up the output so you get something that looks much more like a document and rather than a shiny terrible photograph of a whiteboard. It allows you to frame your shot from any angle and to get accurate auto cropped results or to manually adjust to your specific requirements. Personally, I think its most useful feature is converting images of OCR readable text to editable Word and PowerPoint files. Fabulous. So a quick speed guide to the nuts and bolts of using Office Lens. Let's have a look. So you've downloaded the app from your App Store. Click on it, open it, select what you're going to look at. So what are you going to scan? And do I have anything to hand? Of course not. I do have a document, which I can take a photo of, or I can turn it into a document. And you can see it auto adjusting. Turn into a whiteboard, I guess. It isn't really a whiteboard. Let's see what it does. Look at that, flattens it out nicely. No glare. Obviously it's handwritten, so it can't be converted. If it was a document, it would be another matter. So you hit done. Select where you want to save it to and what format you want to save it into. Notice you can PDF it, you can mail it, you can share it to your photo library. You can save it as a PowerPoint file, a Word document, save it to OneDrive or OneNote. OK, so I have another document here that's printed text. And I want to show you how you can manually adjust or edit the image before you save it or export it. So let's take the picture. Here we go. Wait for it to process. All right, the little symbol up here with the two arrows in opposite directions, the cropping tool, that allows you to adjust the area included in the image. So I might, personally, I might straighten that up rather than what the auto is doing. I don't need that bit at the bottom. I mean, generally, it seems the auto does a pretty good job overall. But it does at least give you control. OK, you can also reorient it so you can landscape it. Put it back upside down and back to the beginning. You can add a caption to it here. So. Okay, hit done. And your image is saved as you required. So now you hit done and decide where you want to export it to and how you want to export it. So if you want to edit it, 
you need to either save it as a Word document or a PowerPoint document. So let's save it as a Word document. You can see it's transferring. Once this is complete, I can open it on the phone and it will ask if you want to open Word to see it. Now I don't have Word on my phone so I can't do that. So it will auto or export, in my case, to my OneDrive. That's where I want to save all of my files. So if I tap to open, it will attempt to download. And it should ask me if I want to download Word. But it didn't. Oh, show me direct. OK, so here you can see we have the image. And below it, we have the parts of the image that it was able to convert. Now, this was quite a difficult one for it to do. As you saw earlier in the video, the book paragraph that I did worked really well. This is obviously a lot more complex with the symbols. We're pretty good, hey? That is now editable in Word. So if we now go to my computer, as I prefer to work on that for this sort of thing, we can see how easy it is to edit a converted document. OK, so here I am in my OneDrive files, looking for the Office Lens folder and opening the book paragraph image that I took. So here you can see I am actually able to edit the converted text from the image of the paragraph without any issue and I can do that either in the more basic edit in OneDrive itself or open the app on my desktop and have all of the full word functions available to edit properly. Really simple, really quick way to work fantastically useful for note taking and updating and shared editing and all sorts of things. So many ways that this could be useful to you. And really, really simple, quick and convenient. So as long as the text that you have taken a photograph of is readable by the OCR system, you can edit it as you would any normal typed in text. So completely change the formatting, the spacing, everything. So I really hope you find this useful. I can't I can't imagine not having this available to me now. This would be incredibly useful on a day to day basis for all sorts of things. OK, so this this next feature is another interestingly clever use of the app, the business card. It adapts the auto size and orientation in exactly the same way as the photo, document and whiteboard options do. You can of course reorient your image yourself at this point and edit the selection. Click done when you're happy with it. You'll notice you get a different set of options for the business card. They are your UE account, the OneNote and photo library. So what's useful about this? It can save the card to your contacts, either in OneNote or on your phone or both. However, I haven't got contacts set up in OneNote, so it's not really got anywhere to save it to. Opening the VCF file on my iPhone 6, though, was really useful. A complete contact card filled out, including a map. So all the relevant information was available, quickly stored, new contact added, easy peasy. So I presume I can save it to my connected services, i.e. Outlook, on the staff account as a contact. Of course, you can also go back and save it as a Word document or PowerPoint, which is then editable. So if you want to transfer the information into some other format or some other storage or contact system, you can. It's done a pretty good job, so there you go. Another interesting option for all text converted business cards is an accessibility feature using the Immersive Reader option. 
To read the business card on your Windows PC, you'll need to save the image to OneNote. On my iPhone, it uses the iOS built-in voiceover feature to read it out to you. Both Windows and Android devices should similarly be capable. This should also work with documents you converted to Word or PowerPoint from the other formats or options. Welsh Fencing Membership Card Membership Secretary 5 Percy Terrace Barn Street Haverford West SAR 61 YTD